Shalom woman, when I first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, peace and blessings to the elect of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the Israelites according to the Bible, who are scattered throughout the four corners of the world. Okay, I got a scripture i want to go into real quick it's not going to be a long video lord willing this is the book of uh ecclesiasticus or the book of sirach chapter 27 verse 11 and it read the discourse of a godly man is always with with wisdom okay and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna google Google search. Uh, let me see. Google search that word discourse. Or oh, really, I will. Uh, what I can do, I'll put it in the uh, etymology online or online etymology dictionary, and go into that word discourse for for a second. Okay, so this is for the word discourse. It says, uh, from late 14th century, process of understanding, reasoning, thought, from French, uh, discourse, from Latin, dis, dis, discourse, a running about, uh, in Latin, I mean, in late Latin, conversation, which goes into your, uh, your conduct how you act but before you you make an action or conduct an action you gotta it, you gotta process it in your mind first and then you go about the action it says from past um participle stem of discury run about okay so how you your 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 behavior your actions you know here on the planet earth uh, from this, from this apart, it says, see this, so we, okay, okay so this is a part, uh, direction between, uh, not, un, uh, that's pretty much it, we go back. So this is a compound word. It says a part. So this is a part plus cure, cure to uh to run. Okay? So to uh to run or how you run or to to run apart, okay? So let's go back to the to the uh to the scripture. All right, so right here it says the discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. So every move that you make in this truth, um, the decisions you make, the um, is with is with wisdom, you know. Because first you you make something up in your mind, and it's supposed to be according to to uh, wisdom. What's the wisdom? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, of the scriptures that we were taught. Uh, starting with our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, okay? And they taught us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? So we're supposed to make decisions, and your decision is going to manifest into an action that you take, and it's, it's supposed to be according to uh to the scriptures, Based upon what you've been taught, okay? 
And then the second part of the verse, it says, but a fool change it as the, as the moon. Okay. And, and this part of the verse really, you know, uh, struck me in the, in the spirit. That's why, I, that's why I wanted to go into this verse mainly because of this, the second part of this verse, it says, but a fool changes as the, as the moon. You see most of these guys that fall out of the truth, really damn near all of them that and fell out the truth or got kicked out of a camp or just stopped coming to, uh, basically just stopped showing up to camp. They, they start, uh, changing the doctrine. It may start off with being one or two scriptures or two breakdowns or, or whatever it may be. And then as time goes on, they steady changing uh, uh, the, the doctrine, you know. And uh, what I was going to say, uh, a good example of that is that guy, Nazarala. I mean, he keep changing up stuff. uh that that you know from what he was taught from what he was taught he learned from the apostles and the elders of great millstone and uh he's constantly changing the scriptures say a fool changes as as the moon and the scriptures also say in the in the book of proverb uh meddle not with them that are given to change that are constantly uh, uh changing you know, and that's that's a that's a way of this world because you have you have a nigga, you know that a that'll be a Muslim at one point in his life, then he'll switch over and be a Baptist, then he'll go from a Baptist to a five percenter, and he and you you constantly change, and that's and I just gave that as as an example, but these people that are that are blind to this truth, they constantly changing. Every year, every year, it's a, a new year. So according to Esau's, or uh, what the so-called white man Esau deems to be a new year, they always got something new. This year, I'm I'm making a new year's resolution to do this. And then the next year, you're on a whole nother vibration. Doing something else. Changing. You know? So the scriptures tell us to continue in the things which we have learned and know of whom thou has learned them from. Okay, roughly paraphrasing the, the scripture. So all that changing, that's not that's not of the truth. Changing up the doctrine, that's going to change how you think and uh it's going to change your behavior too. It's going it's going it's going it's going to change your behavior. Uh, as in your walk, how you walk or conduct yourself here on the planet Earth, you know. So that's that's pretty much it. Just want to get this scripture out real quick. Uh, I hope this this video was edifying. I want to once again give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, Bashem Rakakodash. Peace and blessings. Well, Salakia, double honors to the to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth, and uh, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.